Hi guys, my name is Marlon Ceballos and in this video I'll show you how we can transfer files from an iPad or an iPhone to an external hard drive. In a previous video I showed how we can transfer files from an iPad or an iPhone to a flash drive. In this video, as I said, I'll show you how we can transfer files from the iPhone or iPad to an external hard drive. I'm going to show this process using two different uh, external drives, a regular hard drive and an SSD, solid state drive. So let's start with this hard drive. Remember, this is a regular hard drive. Normally, this kind of drive needs more power. So we're going to need this Apple adapter. This is an adapter from Lightning to USB. It's important to know it's necessary this kind of adapter because theoretically it's the same Lightning to USB, but this adapter doesn't have a port for power. This adapter has the USB port and the power port. So this adapter is the second one. Remember, USB and lightning for power. So I'm going to connect this Apple adapter to the iPad. <clears throat> and now I'm going to connect the hard drive. So I'm going to connect the cable in the hard drive and I'm going to connect the USB cable to the adapter. Sometimes uh, the iPhone said, I don't have enough power to work with this device. In this case, I don't get that message. Now I'm going to connect this cable. This is the aligning cable for power. It's the same cable that I use to give power or charge, charge my iPhone or iPad and nothing happened. Nothing happens because this hard drive needs more power than the power give for this cable, the lightning cable. So I need in this case, another device and this device is a uh, regular hub usb hub why need this device because i need give more power than the power the the cable can give me so <clears throat> i'm gonna connect this hub in with this apple adapter but in this case, this cable has an USB-C connector. So I need this adapter, USB-A or regular USB to USB-C. So I'm going to connect this adapter to the Apple adapter. I'm going to connect now the hub. Now I'm going to connect the hard drive in the hub. And now I'm going to connect the power cable. This is the same cable that I used to charge my MacBook Pro. So I'm going to connect in this port. If your hub doesn't have this kind of, of, of port, the line, the USB port or the same port that I have in my MacBook Pro, it's not a problem. The, the important is the hub needs to have some kind of uh, power. So if your hub has a different cable for power, it's okay. Now the hard drive is, is flashing this light. So I'm gonna open the files application. And as you can see, I can see the external hard drive in my iPhone, Toshiba 2 terabytes. So we can use this hard drive. For example, I'm going to 
select, for example, this image. I'm gonna select the icon in the lower middle to duplicate this image in another drive. I'm gonna open Toshiba 2 terabytes. Now I'm gonna copy this image. There is a similar image, so I'm gonna uh, replace and I'm gonna check. I have the image. I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna uh, repeat this process. So I'm gonna go to iCloud Drive, select the image and duplicate in Toshiba. And I'm gonna open this folder and inside this folder, we can see the image that I previously duplicate. So the external drive is working fine with my iPhone. I know, I know the good news is it's working, but the bad news is it's pretty complex. We need this hub, this adapter, this little adapter. Anyway, it's pretty complex. I'm sorry, that's, that's, that's the reality. So I'm gonna disconnect this hard drive. I'm gonna disconnect this hub. This is an anchor hub. It's pretty common. It's a pretty common brand. And now I'm gonna connect this solid state drive. SSD. This drive has an USB-C connector. So again, I'm gonna need this adapter. Um, I'm gonna connect this drive external to the Apple adapter. After the connection, the iPhone said, cannot use accessory because this accessory requires too much power. So I'm gonna connect now this lightning cable. This cable again is the same cable that I use for give power to my iPhone and my iPad. So I'm gonna connect the lightning cable. I, I'll wait a little and now, and now I have access to my SSD external hard drive. It's a little simple than the previous example. Again, the Apple connector, the external hard drive, yes, SD, connect to the Apple adapter and the power lightning cable connect to the Apple adapter. Again, a little simpler than the previous example. And I know we still need this adapter, but as the Mandalorian said, that's the way. We can use external hard drive with our iPhone or our iPad, but we need some accessories as we saw. If you have an iPad Pro, the iPad Pro has an USB-C connector, so the connection is simpler because we only need an external hard drive with an USB-C cable and we can connect directly the hard drive external to the iPad. But with iPads with lightning connector and with the iPhone, this is the process. I hope you liked my video. If so, please thumb up. I hope you subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in a next video. Thank you for watching this video.